Okay, grew this corn, peaches and cream, dried it out in the sun. So it's three or four days to dry it out just about right. Now this you can make, uh, run it through a blender when you have the kernels all done. You run it through a blender and you can make cornmeal. Make your own breads, cakes and so on. This here corn is actually very different. I don't know if you can see that. Popping corn for popcorn. So you want to grow this separate. Now to take the, the kernels off the cob, very simple method to do. I have here a uh, lag bolt that I cut the head off, put it in the drill, and then you just screw it in. Now that's nice and dry. Made this simple little tube. It's got teeth in it. I bent one teeth inwards because not all the co uh, cobs are the same size. And then you just run it through. Voila! That's done. Have to sweep that out for the chickens now. Then you take it off and put the next kernel on. It's not mass production. But it works for what we needed to do, right? So here we go in a bucket. And it's done. Now why would you want to do this? Okay, so why would we want to do our own corn? Obviously, you can buy it cheaper at the, uh, the local mill. Uh, for myself, I'd like to know that it's not GMO. At the end of the, in the fall season, you'll find that the local fields around here, the farmers have all sorts of leftover corn in the fields, and if you ask them, you can go get it for your chickens. Reason for doing that, I'm not trying to be cheap, is if you try to buy chicken feed here in Canada, well, you have to register for it. Government wants to know everything about your chickens, about your chicken feed, everything. Of course, their excuse is, well, if there's a bird flu or anything like that, they can have access to your chickens and call the whole herd and protect it, uh, the bird flu from spreading to other areas of the country, so to speak, which is obviously total bullshit. It's more in line with what uh, the communists did in Russia and in China. You have, in order to introduce communism, you have to take over the food supply. So you need to know where all the food is and how to get it. So this is the way here, if they don't know you have chickens, that's your business. So that's my business and that's why I do it. Also, it's, it's not GMO, so I know that it's good food for my family. So everybody's got their own way of doing things. This is just a simpler way to do it for simple folks like ourselves. Thank you for listening to me.